Hello everyone, welcome to Bee's Battlegrounds. I'm Bobby B, and today I'll be looking at the DLZ Toys Skull Sergeant. Now this was a PowerCon pickup of mine. Um, I believe I got it from the 5K booth. I picked up this and then the uh, the Berserker giant bear figure. Um, I was there for the bear figure, then there's a whole group of us. We were kind of looking around at some of the figures and stuff. This guy was there. We're all like, we're all eyeing him up. We're thinking he looks awesome. And then the, uh, the lady working there goes, oh, that's this one, and points to this box. And... Every, all, all, I think there was three or four of us, and all of us were like, yeah, we'll take one. And then we all bought one. So if that was one of you guys, that was the uh, the Friday at PowerCon. Excuse me, Friday at PowerCon. Definitely definitely reach out, because uh, <laughs> this figure is awesome, and I'm glad I'm glad we uh, collectively all decided that. But uh, DLZ Toys, Skull Sergeant. Um, I don't know too much about it. It's uh, it's an awesome figure, though. It, it's, it's a lot of fun. Got this black and white box, DLZ Toys. On the back, get this sick logo with uh, some cross rifles, with skull and cross rifles going on there. I thought collectibles, not much going on in the bottom. DLZ toys there, nothing going on this, on the on the top. And then uh, inside, just black. Had a uh, plastic tray with all the uh, the goodies in it. Put that back there. Like I said, plastic tray, all the goodies in it, and it came with uh, a good bit. Pretty fun. So one thing I just learned, uh, getting ready for the review, I had the figure, like I said, since PowerCon, so that's a little over a month. Um, came with a belt. Came with a belt. It's a pain in the ass to get uh, get on. Mostly, he's got three belt loops on, I uh, can't speak, three belt loops on his pants, but uh, trying to feed this through the, the buckle is a uh, tedious task that I wasn't prepared for getting this video ready. But let's dive into these accessories. We'll take a look at the figure. We'll go from there. So you get a plethora of hands. You get a left trigger hand. All the hands are going to be black gloved. You get a left and right gripping hand. I got the uh, the left gripping hand on right now. You get a very open left gripping hand, which is perfect if you want to get that, uh, that good C-grip on the rifle as you're, uh, you're moving moving towards your target very uh tactically sound hand you get a nice little uh foregrip grabbing left hand and that fits perfect in the foregrip we'll look at the weapons here in a second um it's just genius grips you get your uh right trigger hand a right trigger hand Was that C grip here? Yeah, that's a gripping hand. Get these two, uh, two like hold up. Wait a minute, some eight right hands. You get your uh, two fingers up, two finger pointing. You get your one finger pointing, so you get left hand two fingers, right hand one finger, and then you get uh, everybody's favorite, flipping the bird. And that's going to be with the left hand. Moving on, get this little AK looking rifle, fun little weapon, short stock, the magazine does come out, not much extra going on there, Let's slap that back up in there, you get this uh, longer AR designated marksman style rifle with a bigger scope, magazine also comes out, not much going on there, they are different size magazines, this one's wider, the other one's skinnier. Slap that back up in there. And you get uh, two heads. So you get this uh, fun-looking skull head. It reminds me of the, uh, the Foosh Bone Brawlers that are going to be coming out here soon. If those ever ship. And it's got a little uh, respirator gas mask kind of deal going on with it. And that kind of kind of pegs in. Uh, mine's a little... I guess mine was mushed when I took it off and put it in the thing. So it's got, it's got the two pegs there, but you got to... Got to work it a little bit to get everything lined up there. It fits on like so. We'll got we'll grab the figure here. So here's your figure. This is the other head. Uh, you got this tactical helmet with the the goggles down, mast head. Can't really see past it. Past what all, what's all going on here, and it, I mean it works. It's uh this is like a lighter black, and there's a little bit of silver paint and like almost like a wash. Uh, and parts of it, not all of it though. And then you get like the all black mask and stuff. You get this 
actual cloth tur turtleneck. You get this fun little tactical vest. You got some magazine pouches, some grenades, some throwing knives, um, different pouches and stuff. There's the back. Obviously, you can peg it, take it off if you want. But with my luck, I'll take it off and not be able to get it back on. There's your belt loops like I was talking about earlier. You get some uh, little flaps for butt pockets that don't exist. Get some cargo pockets. Um, get some knee pads that can move a little bit if you wanted to work them. You get the boots. Boot cut. And uh, you get double jointed knees. Double jointed elbows. So he, he can get in all those tactical poses you want. And he, it's fantastic. He's just a fun figure. Um, boots look kind of kind of big. Like, like wide down here. But I think it works. Um, I definitely want to get that elbow taken care of. It doesn't feel like there's, there's a little bit of waist movement. But I can't tell if there's anything going on. Oh yeah, there's a there's a little bit of pivot in there. So I'm holding I'm holding the abs. And he can rotate around a little bit. Let's grab this uh sergeant head real quick. Do this off camera. I'll show you guys as I progress, so hopefully I don't snap it on camera like some other brands. And then for reference, it's just a big peg. And there there's your skull sergeant right there. And then we'll uh the hands are very similar to uh, Mafex, the the little pin, and then obviously you could rotate this however you see fit. So we'll uh, we'll get everyone the favorite one so they can see it. There you go. Slide that sleeve up a little bit. Cover that cover that joint. There you go. Everyone happy? Everyone got their laugh? Where's that crazy C grip hand at? Try to work that one here. Grab the mask here. Mask up. Maybe, maybe not. It's like it wants to peg in, but it just won't. Oh, I thought I had it. We'll work it here in a second. There you go. Ready to go. Um, yeah, fun figure. Let me get this head back on. I'm definitely more of a fan of the tactical head. Get that that nice C grip for that realistic hold. It looks awesome, fantastic. Uh, let's get for size comparisons. We got a couple figures here. Let me get him standing straight up. Slide that back. We got a Mafex Black Noir, uh, whose video is also on my channel. If I throw his knife across the room here. Pretty good with uh, Mafex scale, if I can get Black Noir to stand straight here. We got uh, the SH Figure Arts John Walker Captain America. About the same, same build there. Let me try to slide everyone over here. We got the Mezco Destro. A little bit on the shorter side. And then let me get him standing all straight. We got Condor from Action Force. By Valiverse and his uh, some Spec Ops gear, and then we got the GI Joe Classified series 
grunt, but he's rocking the steel core helmet. If I can get him straightened out here. So he's about average height, but he is a little on the uh, the slender side, but he works out. So, are you guys picking this up? Did you guys already pick it up? Uh, do you know anything about DLZ toys? Because I have no idea what what they is, what they is, what they what it is, what they are, what this skull guy is supposed to be. Um, but let me know in the comments below. Until next time, load up, grab your kits. I'll see you on the battlegrounds.